like Zaiko and uh, Papa Wemba, they saw strong somewhere and so um, they sound so different with no no uh, influence of, from uh, Latin music or, uh, or Western music. You really feel that they were working in a closed system. And that's why I think somewhere it was very positive. <laughs> Unlike Mao's cultural revolution, Mobutu's did not require townspeople to migrate to the countryside, but it made use of tribal traditions to promote a sense of national unity and cultural pride. And musicians were encouraged to turn to folklore in search of their inspiration. At the same time, Mobutu was consolidating his power by modeling his presidency on the institution of tribal chief. On the 20th anniversary of the founding of the MPR, Mobutu was welcomed to Kinshasa in the manner of a great chief being welcomed to a jungle village. Not content with being president or chief, Mobutu became a god. This is the nightly closed-down transmission of Zaire television. Not surprisingly, few people have ever criticized Mobutu in public. Even from the relative safety of Europe, any criticism of the leopard, as he is known to his people, must be couched in the gentlest satire. <laughs> second anniversary of the founding of the MPR. At the Cathedral of Notre Dame in Kinshasa, political animation sets the scene for the arrival of a senior politician. Nowadays, the president is rarely seen in Kinshasa, preferring to spend his time in his village or in Europe. 
Nevertheless, the dancing is for Mobutu and his wife alone, and it is always richly rewarded with presidential favors. The occasion shows, as might be expected, that there are limitations to authenticity. Culturally, the ritual is an impressive, if slightly bewildering mixture of old and new, African and European. Le détachement d'honneur arrangé pour vous accueillir et vous rendre les honneurs à l'occasion du 22e anniversaire du mouvement populaire de la révolution parti État. Je vous invite à passer le détachement en revue. Le commandant détachement, Yekna Pelela Mongengo. À vos ordres. The Catholic Church was outraged by Mobutu's ban on Christian names. But in their efforts to build their congregations, they were soon to devise their own version of authenticity. A mass in Lingala and traditional music, like that which in former times had been used to summon the ancestor spirits. Where foreign missionaries had plundered and destroyed, Mobutu sought to rebuild. Authenticity meant rediscovering the African cultural heritage and official encouragement was given to the revival of tribal music and dance, much of which had been in danger of disappearing. think music they think it's a social game where every mom member of the, the tribe has a place of his own and that's the purpose of the game to find one's place in the society in the early 70s Ray Lemmer was appointed director of the Zaire National Dance Company it gave him a unique opportunity to travel the country and study its music those people who play that tradition music the masters, they've been playing that for centuries. And when you try to transpose that thing on modern instruments, it's not that easy because you have to, to take apart chords. And watching the whole picture now in the traditional area, I noticed that no one ever goes even with two, uh, more than two fingers. And that's how I came to my style of playing piano today. Uh, I just play notes. I never plug a really chord like this. Where, for example, the tune would be... Mm, this is a progression of one of my tunes I play on stage. But I could never play it like this for Zyrens. For Zyrens, I played. You see, it's just a matter of. Uh, they need everything to be separate and to take its place. <laughs> 
Moni Mambo is a song about a legendary hero adventurer, reincarnated by Ray Lemmer as the modern jet setter commuting between Africa and Europe. and film star now lives in Paris. Three years ago, he and his fashion-conscious disciples founded the Sapeur, the society of ambiences and persons of elegance. The Sapeur have their own religion, Kitende. They have their own pope and high priests, and their own hymn, which sings the praises of whichever fashion designers are currently in favor. The Sapeur Ten Commandments list a code of behavior which defines, among other things, eight ways of walking. Their temples are the exclusive houses of high fashion. This, perhaps, is their Vatican, the Paris headquarters of Jean-Paul Gaultier. Right. What do you say? Linge. Linge. Why? What's that? Oh, yes. <laughs> No, but 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 il faut il faut aimer tout d'abord. Il faut aimer pour être sapeur quoi. Quand on n'aime pas, on aime, on, on peut pas quoi. Il faut l'aimer tout d'abord. Il faut casquer énormément d'argent pour euh, pour se vêtir quoi. Flasher. Ah ouais, faut flasher quoi. Ah, ah, ouais. <rire> c'est moi qui lançais ces mouvements et la jeunesse saïroise, congolaise, ivoirienne, patati patata, a suivi quoi. Parce que je me suis dit, il faudra que je sors un peu de l'ordinaire. Parce que tous les chanteurs faisaient pareil quoi. Pour moi, je me suis dit, il faudra que je trouve un truc qui va flasher tout le monde quoi, qui va flasher la, la jeunesse quoi. Je trouvais un look à moi. Et j'ai amené la jeunesse saïroise à, à aimer la sape. Quand je dis bien coiffé, bien parfumé, bien rasé et bien habillé, c'est de la pure propreté que je suis en train d'exiger à cette jeunesse. Quoi. With Papa Wemba living in Paris, the mantle of King of Sapeur in Kinshasa has passed to Emenea, leader of the band Victoria Eleso. When the crew arrived for filming, the band had lost their amplifier, a common occurrence in Kinshasa, where equipment is so scarce it has to be shared. Not to be defeated by this setback, they decided to mime to their latest record, playing in the shop behind. Un sapeur, c'est quelqu'un qui se met debout. C'est quelqu'un qui se met debout. Alors, celui qui n'est pas sapeur, c'est celui qui est assis, qui n'a pas de l'allure. Ce que nous appelons communément ici, qui un taureau. Un rescapé, un condamné à mort. Bien, est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer assez clairement tout ça Ça, ça m'a l'air d'un langage euh, d'initié. Pour moi, personnellement, on m'appelle Titi de Valois, le pape de la sape. Le pape, bon, ma foi, c'est une religion. C'est-à-dire, pour nous, la sape, actuellement, on peut définir ça comme un mouvement. C'est-à-dire un mouvement comme le mouvement des Rasta, le mouvement de punk. Alors, ce mouvement est lié à la musique. Vous savez, par exemple, chez nous, ici à Kinshasa, un musicien qui ne soigne pas très bien son look, quand il passe, par exemple, à une, à une émission de télévision, donc, la première chose, c'est de voir la façon qu'il est habillé. Si vraiment il est mal habillé, c'est qu'il n'est pas considéré, malgré qu'il joue très bien sa musique. Vous vous habillez cher quand même Ma foi, vous savez quand on est à Paris, euh, ma foi, on, on a quand même, on a aussi de tout. Hein. Des fois on fait un petit job euh, par-ci par-là, et puis avec cet argent on peut s'acheter des trucs un peu chers. 